Here are some simple examples of solving force problems that involve friction. In the first example, we have a box pushed along a level surface with a known force and we are supposed to deduce the coefficient of kinetic friction. Start by reading the problem carefully, taking note of all known variables as well as what is unknown. Remember, force is a vector. Hence, in such problems, take note of clues on direction. Draw a free body diagram. In deciding the direction of friction, remember that it always opposes the relative sliding of surfaces. Your diagram must include a coordinate system. Check if there are any forces not along the coordinates and need calculations for components. Apply Newton's second law. For friction problems, you need an expression for normal force first. In this case, we set up Newton's second law in the y direction first and take note that the acceleration is zero. Then we solve Newton's second law in the x direction for the unknown frictional force. We recall that in this problem, the velocity is constant, hence acceleration is zero. We substitute in for normal force, solve symbolically for the coefficient of kinetic friction, then plug in with units. Note that in this case, because Newton's are kilograms times meters per second squared, the units completely cancel and we get correctly that the coefficient of kinetic friction is unitless. Don't forget to reread the problem Check the picture and make sure you have answered the question. In the second example, we still have a box on a level surface this time pulled by a rope at an angle 
and the coefficient of friction is known. We read the problem for all relevant quantities, take note of the geometry, and note that the question is asking for the resulting acceleration. We draw the free body diagram involving all of the forces and their directions. We set up the coordinate system according to the acceleration. For any forces not along the coordinate axes, we derive expressions using trigonometry. We apply Newton's second law, and again, we will start in the direction of the normal force because we need its expression for friction. We also apply Newton's second law in the x direction. In this case, the acceleration is not zero. We substitute in for the normal force and then symbolically solve for the unknown. We plug in and check that the units cancel out so they will end up with the correct meters per second squared that acceleration must be in. We reread the problem, checking that we have considered all given quantities, and check our answer against the drawing. 